Hi guys and thanks for watching. It's been a while since I did a PHP video so I figured it's time because I ran into a situation today where I needed to uh, create a new field within a table and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. I won't bore you with that up front if you feel like listening to that at the end that's great. But anyway what we need is a new field and we need that field to be duplicated by a field that exists within our database and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate vid ID into a field called test field. So the first thing I need is I need that field called test field. Uh, it doesn't exist. If it existed I, I could just run the code. But since it doesn't exist I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that field. So I'm going to make it at the beginning of the table and we'll just go. And uh, I'm going to leave varchar right there. I'm going to call this test field. Oh, not yes. Sorry. Bad light. Yeah, good enough. All right, I'm going to give it a length of 30, and you can use whatever you want, 0 to 255, probably not 0. And then we're just going to save it. And this is just going to be a new empty field. So if we go to browse, we'll see that we have test field, and it is empty. So how do we get vid ID into test field? pretty simple. We go to SQL right here and we're going to update the table. So we're going to use the command update and uh, the table is video. Is it uh, videos? Okay. So that's that line. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do set and then the table that we want to be updated comes first. So that will be test field. I'm just going to go over here and click them out, save you a little time. And then the next thing is we're going to say equals, and then we're going to take the field that we want to get the information out of and put that in here. And that's all you really need. Update table, set the, the field you want to set to the field you want to set it from. So now we hit go, and it'll say affected three rows. I've only got three rows in this database, but you can do it up to, you know, however many rows, you, if you've got a million rows, you can do it like that. So now when we go to browse, you'll see that our new field, test field, is now contains the information from vid ID. So guys, that's really all you need, and that's all you need to know on that, so that's going to work out just great. Uh, I'll put a little uh, code snippet down below uh, so that you can see what, I, what I'm talking about. So if that's all you needed to know, that's great. If you want to know why I needed this, hang on and I'll tell you. And anyway, today I was working on a Zencart. And Zencart is an e-commerce system that I, I do a lot of work on. I've, I've done a lot of videos on Zencart. And this particular Zencart had a uh, uh, plugin called Easy Populate. And the guy that owned the Zencart had populated all this stuff by hand. And he had about 2,700 records and he needed to make a global change across all the records and the best way to do that is by exporting them through easy populate and then you know doing like a search and replace you can do a global replace or you can you know you can do whatever you need to do in excel to make the changes and then you upload the file again well the problem is that uh, this particular plugin uses a field in there which is called uh, the products model which is basically the skew of the product. But since he had entered all these products in by hand, these products weren't available from somewhere else. They were his own electronic products, and they did not have a skew numbers because they weren't tracked in that way. But they did have a unique ID number for each product. However, unfortunately, uh, Easy Populate won't use that unique ID. It has to use like a skew number. And there are a lot of reasons behind that that I won't go into because Easy Populate is uh, basically for uh, putting in large files of products from dropship suppliers, etc. So anyway, what we had to do is we had to create that new field for him, which was we didn't actually have to create a new field. We just had to populate the 2,700 records with a unique ID in that uh, model field. And the reason we couldn't just uh, start all over again is because he had several thousand customers who already bought, and changing up that database in that way would have been problematic. So all we did is 
I just went in there and I took the information out of the ID table for the product's ID and put them into the model table for the product's model. And then I went back to Zencart, went into the admin, and opened up the Easy Populate, and I did an export. And then when I did the export, everything had a model number, so Easy Populate was happy. Uh, customer was happy. Uh, he's able to update each product individually or in mass and then save that file and load it back up through Easy Populate and it affects this whole cart. So anyway, that's just one reason why you might need this ability to create a field based on another field. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please comment, rate, subscribe. I love thumbs up. Please give me one if you like this video. Uh, and we'll catch you in another video. Hopefully I'll be making some more PHP stuff real soon. Thanks. Take care.